Hello students. So let's try to solve one more problem from CSIR NET 2021. And this is, and this problem is a very interesting one. So what we have, we have actually harmonic oscillator and our particle is in the ground state of harmonic oscillator. So let me explain your question in a very nice manner. So this is my Hamiltonian of harmonic oscillator. And this is given that P square upon 2M plus half m omega square x square. So this is uh, Hamiltonian of harmonic oscillator and my particle is in ground state of uh, this particular harmonic oscillator. So I can write my ground state. So this is my ground state and we know the value of uh, the normalized wave function for the ground state is m omega pi h cut to the power 1 by 4 e to the power minus m omega x square upon 2 h cut where x will vary from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this is our original system and uh, the particle is in ground state. So we know that normalized wave function. Now what will happen suddenly we will give some impulse to the particle in form of momentum. So we will give some extra momentum to the particle. And uh, let us assume this extra momentum is given here in this problem is actually m omega h cut. So if we will give the extra momentum to the particle, we have to calculate what will be probability that my particle will still in the ground state. So this is a very wonderful problem. So obviously what will happen when we will impart some extra momentum to the particle. So let's try to see what will happen to our Hamiltonian. So when we will impart some extra momentum, then we can see the new Hamiltonian is something like P square upon 2M plus half M omega square x square. And there is some constant kinetic energy. This is very interesting. This is some constant kinetic energy p naught square by 2m is added. And if it is added, then obviously there must be some wave function correction or some changes in wave function. The beautiful part is that, that this particular kinetic energy is constant because I because in the problem it is given p naught is equal to root under m omega h cut. So if this is constant, then what will happen? Uh, some correction in wave function and the wave function corresponds to free particle will add it to the our our old wave function so what will be my new wave function so after introduction of this one our new wave function so i can say this is my psi nu is nothing but m omega pi h cut to the power 1 by 4 e to the power minus m omega x square by 2 h cut. This is due to this one. We have added energy. So wave function will be multiply and this will be i p naught x upon h cut. And yes, it's a just a free particle, uh, just, a, just a wave function associated to the free particle. So there is not any change in normalization. So we have the same normalization. So what is problem? The problem is that what will be probability such that my particle will still in the ground state. So what we have to calculate, we have to calculate that probability such that particle will be in the ground state when my state is the new state. So this is my probability and we have to just calculate this particular thing. And this is nothing but psi star gs psi nu dx and obviously we will go from minus infinity to plus infinity mod square and these two are normalized we can check that they are normalized so we have to just do this integral so the main challenge is that how we are going to do this particular integral so yes we will use all the concept of uh, gaussian wave function and we will try to figure out figure out what will be the integration so let's try to go for this integration then we can easily take the mod square and we will find the answer so integration is minus infinity to plus infinity. And we can take m omega upon pi h cut to the power 1 by 2. This is 1 by 4 from here, 1 by 4 from here. 
So this thing is there and these two will be multiply. So this value is e to the power minus m omega x square upon h cut. And we have this particular phase factor e to the power i p naught x upon h cut dx. Now you can have used different method to integration, but yes, I can, uh, I will just make it perfect square and I will use the concept of Gaussian and then we will see how we can do this particular integration. So let's try to do this particular integration. So this value is M omega upon pi h cut to the power one by two. And this is just an integral value. I have to just square it. So, and uh, we have e to the power minus m omega upon h cut i can take common and this value is equal to x square minus i p naught and we will h cut we have taken this thing as common so m omega h cut we have taken common so this will be x square minus i p naught and we have m omega because this will go there and plus we have i p naught upon and x is there so this will be 2 m omega whole square minus i p naught upon 2 m omega whole square this will be the integration and we have this particular dx and when we are using this particular integration, this will be m omega pi h cut one by two is there. And uh, this integration is e to the power minus m omega h cut. And we have x minus i p naught upon m omega whole square. And there is one term e to the power minus p naught square upon 4 m omega and h cut will be there because this h cut will here and dx. So we can take this common and what will happen. So I am just using this space. So this value is m omega pi h cut to the power one by four. And all integration is from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this is minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power m omega upon h cut x minus i p naught upon m omega whole square dx and there is constant term so i can take this as a constant term so this is e to the power minus p naught square by 4 m omega h cut and we can easily think we can easily justify that this integration is nothing but equal to one. So there is no need to do this integration. We are just doing it uh, a perfect square and we can use this one. So what will be the value? So this integral have value as e to the power minus p naught square by four m omega h cut. We can put the value of p naught here. So when we will put the value of p naught here, so this value is equal to this integral is e to the power minus and when we will putting it then m omega h cut will cancel minus 1 by 4 is there but what will be probability so this probability is nothing but integral mod square and this value i can use this space so this value is equal to e to the power minus 1 by 2 so the probability is such that my this says that the system will still in the old ground state still in the ground state is basically e to the power minus half so it's a very wonderful problem it's a just a concept that how you can if you are just changing that uh, potential or changing the kinetic energy then how your wave function is going to correct and yes we are using the property of gaussian to solve this particular problem and this one is your answer e to the power minus half will be your answer thank you students